If it's your birthday, a holiday, or you saw a bug, and you're like, wow, that's a pretty cool bug. You can get a video from Steve or Andy on Cameo. Check the comments for a link. Okay, tickets for the Lady Gaga concert should be available any second. Oh man, I hope she plays Poker Face and Bad Romance. Totally. They should be available in three, two... Hey guys, this vending machine won't take my dollar. What? Steve, you just shut off the electricity. Now we have no Wi-Fi. Yeah. Wi-Fi? Does that mean there's a Who-Fi? And a when fi and a where fi and a- Enough! You ruined my chance to see Lady Gaga. Wait a second. You guys want to see Lady Gaga? Yeah. Oh, why didn't you say so? My cousin Fernando mailed me two tickets yesterday. Do you guys want to go? Really? You sure you won't mind? Not at all. It's the least I could do. Wow, that actually worked out in our favor. Totally. And I can't imagine anything going wrong in this scenario at all. This place is a little empty for a Lady Gaga concert. Maybe we're early. What time does this concert start? Well, the tickets say eight. Wait a second. There's a typo on this ticket. Gaga is spelled wrong. That's weird. The name on the sign was spelled wrong, too. You're right. And they both said... What's a Lady Giga... Wait a second. Did you just hear that? I did, but there's no one here. Andy, is that what I think it is? The opening act? Oh, maybe they'll play Freebird. What? No, I think it's... Maybe it's one of those snack guys who sells hot dogs and peanuts. What? Andy, there's two people in this entire place. What is he going to sell? Two hot dogs? Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs! I have exactly two hot dogs! See? Fine, but there's no peanut salesman. Peanuts! Get your peanuts! I have exactly two bags of peanuts! What? How'd you get over there so fast? I run super fast. Yeah. Andy, I think we have a much bigger problem on our hands. The Giga. Ask it to play Freebird. What? No, I'm not asking him to play Freebird! I didn't know what that is, but... Is there any way you can free me? Well, that kind of depends a little bit. Are you going to eat us? I'm a carnivore, so yeah, probably. What's a carnivore again? It's a meat eater, and the Giganotosaurus is just that. Wait a second. First you said Giga, now you said Jigga. Which one is it? Let me explain. The Giga is a nickname given to the Giganotosaurus. They were theropod dinosaurs. That means it had two legs and sharp claws on its hands. It lived 99.6 to 95 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period, about 30 million years before the T-Rex. Its full name is Giganotosaurus carolinii, and even though its name seems like it would mean gigantic, it actually doesn't, but instead is Greek for giant southern lizard. It was given this southern name because it was unearthed in 1993 in the Patagonian region of Argentina, by an amateur fossil hunter named Ruben Dario Carolini. The paleontologist who examined the fossils acknowledged Carolini's contribution by naming the new dinosaur Giganotosaurus carolinii. Because it was found here, experts believed it lived in warm, humid environments, such as forests, swamps, and floodplains, where it most likely ate sauropod dinosaurs. And there are some that think it ate the Argentinosaurus, one of the biggest dinosaurs to ever live. The Giganotosaurus had 76 teeth, with some of them being eight inches long, many of which were flat, sharp, and serrated, meaning it had like a mouthful of knives. The Giganotosaurus could bite with a force of 8,000 pounds of pressure, while the T-Rex had a bite force of 12,000 pounds of pressure. This leads experts to believe that the T-Rex crushed its food with its teeth, while the Giganotosaurus use his teeth to slice his prey.
Yeah, but can it sing Freebird? Yeah. I don't think I can sing much of anything. I'm stuck in this hole. Come on, a big guy like you? I'm sure you can break out of that stage in like two seconds. I've tried. I'm stuck. Oh, well, did you run yourself under hot water? That's how I open pickle jars. No, didn't try that. Did you tap yourself with a wooden spoon? That's how I open pickle jars. No, not yet. Did you tap the 57 on the side of the ketchup bottle? That's how I get ketchup out of ketchup bottles. I'm not a pickle jar or a ketchup bottle. I'm just stuck. Oh, I'm getting hungry too. A big guy like me has to eat a lot, you know? Well, how big are you? I was waiting for that question. I am one of the biggest theropod dinosaurs there is. I was about 18 feet tall, which is as tall as a giraffe. What? I could reach lengths up to 45 feet. That's as long as the Hollywood sign. Also, I could weigh up to 30,000 pounds. That's heavy as three and a half hippos. All this makes me slightly larger than the legendary T-Rex, but in many ways, smaller than the Spinosaurus. Because of my size, I did not have any natural predators. So no one ate or hunted me, even though I was so big. I could actually move pretty fast, reaching speeds up to 31 miles per hour. I'm starving. Is there any chance either of you have some food? I could really go for like two hot dogs or some peanuts. What are the chances? We have two of those things here right now. Can you give me some, please? I'm starving. We can, under one condition. What is it? I'll do anything. Well, we came all this way to see a concert, so we'll give you the food if you sing us one song. But I'm a dinosaur. I've never sang before in my life. We're not picky. It's gotta be better than space rocks or some other weird stuff we've come up with. Yeah. Fine, you've got a deal. One song for some food. Yo, Peanut Dude, how's your arm? I played disc golf in college. I can throw and catch at the same time. What? I don't know what that is, but can you throw your food in that dinosaur's mouth? Yes. Then let's see what you got. One bag of peanuts coming up. Hit it. I run super fast. I'm gonna be out of a job. Hey, it's me, the guy you just watched talk to a dinosaur for 10 minutes. Well, in case you didn't know, there's a hidden coupon code in this video. Yeah. Try to find it. If you do, you can get a discount on my merch, so good luck. Now, on to my patrons on Patreon. They're awesome, especially Daisy. Erickson and Alexander L., Dominic McAvee, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Max and Kaz, Charlie Stone, Luke Raposa, The Puffin Boys, Christopher F., Sam and Eddie from London, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Max C., Toothless and Light Fury, Lucas, Willette, and Family, Liam and Evelina, JJ Schmidt, Lava Liam, Kellen, his mom Rachel, and his pup Link, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Maddie and James, Max from South All, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford, Evan Lee, GC, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Charles and Olivia, Solomon Caldwell, and Asa Caldwell, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Asher Evans, Xavier Freeze, Zyla, Madison Hard, Vincent Petty, Benjamin M, Elias Mark Turner, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, Stephen McPhee, The Gowdy Bros, and Mabsy, Millie Fennel, Ada S, Laser Rosen, Wesley C, Burning Wick, Sammy Osif, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Kuchan115, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney, and Brian, Jasper Soros Rex, Riker Smith, Oshi, Jakey Jake, Noah Whitman, Jack Hartzler, Connor LeCoke and Family, Ben and Ollie, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Connor Higgins, Henry Pavelko, Silas M, Alexander, Julian, and David, Philip and Anna Buckley, Virginia and Harrison Way, John Arthur, Julian, Jackson, and Jacob, Callum G, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Jackson Bear Welch, Harper Benson, The Levinson Family, Creative Devon and Zach T, Victor B from Canada, 
Jordana and Aaron, Jaden, Danny, and Beeks, Chris the Megalodon, Zane and Asher Davis, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Olin, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Rebecca Beanie, Sam B. and his mom from Tennessee, Connor and Emma B., the Ravad Boys, and Gavin Meidel. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, you should. It's pretty cool. If you do, go to patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo or click the link in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys. Everybody on the count of three, shut your favorite cold cut. Sing along with me. Three. Jeez! Cheese ain't a cold cut, my good man. Come on, shout out like bologna or ham. <laughs>